Hello YouTubers, Realtor Mike Thomas here, back again for another session of Market Home Values here in uh, South Florida. Martin County, home sold. So let's take a look at this uh, graph real quick. Uh, the blue bars are single family homes and the orange bars are townhouses and condominiums that sold. And of course, um, each month. And we're going to compare that to uh, the same month the year prior. Okay, so let's get started. In January in Martin County, homes that were sold were up over almost 21% single family homes. And townhouses and condominiums were up 12.5% in January over the previous year, 2020. So good strong month coming in there and it gets better in February when it uh, jumps up to almost 22% uh, increase in February for single family homes and um, just over 21% in February for townhouses and condominiums. Now here in March it jumps up almost 34% for single family homes and it's still up higher for condominium and townhouses at 12.6%. In April we have a huge jump at almost 60% increase um, for single family homes and 87.5% for townhouses and condominiums over the prior year in April. But look what happens next. In May it jumps up over 105% for single family homes and almost 99% for townhouses and condominiums. That is a huge month of increase in homes sold. That's nearly double what we sold last year in May. And in June, single family homes drop way down to 13.2%. We're still in the positive numbers, but over last year, June, we're at 13 percent and we're almost at 40 percent for townhouses and condominiums still in the positive over last year but then let's look what happens next in july we're down 8.6 percent for single family homes and up 8.9 percent almost nine percent for townhouses and condominiums that's a huge change from May to June to July for Martin County. In August, we're another 8.5% down over last year. Nothing really too worried about here because if we have a month or two that's bad, that's not the end of the world. But here also the townhouses are down almost 3% in August of 2021 over August 2020. So something to take a look at if this continues for another two months then it may indicate that the market is has stabilized or may be retracting in Martin County. Do I believe that there is a real estate crash coming to Martin County in 2021? No. Just because there's a month or so that's um, not as good as it was last year doesn't mean that there's going to be a real estate crash. The demand for real estate here in Martin County is still high and people are still coming to purchase homes here. The interest rates are low, so I don't see any prediction of any type of crash for 2021 this year.